The Myers fire blackened more acres since yesterday. It's up to a little over 16,000 acres, and containment continues to be elusive, sticking at 5%. MTN's John Amy is at the fire south of Phillipsburg with more National Guard troops from Montana arriving today. John. Well, hi, I'm here live at the incident command post of the Myers fire, which is burning about 20 miles southwest of Phillipsburg. Now, if it's looking a little bit like a military base right now, well, that's because today they got help from the National Guard. The 1063rd of Dillon came here to play a support role to help in security and public safety. Now, I spent the day with them, and this is what I learned about their mission. With the Myers fire entering its sixth week, the National Guard has stepped in to help. Members of the 1063rd Maintenance Company came out to this camp south of Phillipsburg to relieve law enforcement who were manning checkpoints leading to the fire. Our job is to come out here and make sure that people don't go into an area that's been evacuated because there's dangers out there. The soldiers will be deployed for 15 days to help in an operation that has more than 400 personnel trying to contain a more than 15,000 acre wildfire. The guardsmen are prepared for the task and work together well. These are families, these are brothers and sisters. So, you know, we, we've trained and fight together. You know, that's, that's family. I can count on every single one of these individuals if I needed help or anything else, and they can do the same for me. For the next two weeks, this is what these National Guard soldiers are going to call home. Come on inside, it's your uh, basic army tent. 25 troops will be living in here. It's pretty warm right now, there's no air conditioning. In fact, if they need to cool off, they'll just roll up the sides. Yeah, they're roughing it, but these troops say they wouldn't have it any other way. This is fun. This, this is fun for me. I love this state, love this country. I'm proud to wear this uniform and I'd much rather be in this than anything else. The troops are temporarily leaving behind jobs and families for this duty. One soldier said he will miss his wife and one year old son. That was the tough part because I love spending time with them and not being able to see them for 15 days is going to be hard. When you think about the National Guard coming out to support, it's, um, it, it's really a higher level of commitment. It's, it's, it's truly going above and beyond. Right. Doing their part during a challenging wildfire season. Now I'm told these troops, they're gonna be working 24 hours a day at these checkpoints, doing 12 hour shifts on five different roads that lead into the fire to make sure that no unauthorized personnel get in there and, and get harmed. So it's gonna be a very busy time for them. Back to you in the studio. All right, our John Amy with that live report. Thanks very much. And there's a community meeting that will be held tomorrow at 5 p.m. at the Georgetown Lake Volunteer Fire Department.